Hendricks up to Billy LaRue. Kalisu with the offload. And the Springboks have the first score. And Malcolm Marks gets his 16th for South Africa. And Kalisi instrumental in that. Kieran Hardy. Ball is out. His ball is out. Carry forward there from Elliot D. D, one okay, of the dragons Vanden, in this Wales side. The arm is out from Andrew Brace. So there is the penalty advantage. Johnny Williams. Advantage offside, seven. That's, uh, that's just on foot there. Seven. Leaving just 39 in the back line. One of the most inexperienced back lines. Wales have ever put out, but Sam Costello will be delighted with that. Tackler first. Well, South Africa penalised again. And a chance now for Costello. Tackler first. Yeah, 12 take completed. Wales in front. Affected the turnover. Yeah, you. You forced me to that decision. Here, Khaleesi, the in the runway, the as roll. is his way. Never the decent man, perhaps also a bit of a diplomat and a politician as well, has been talking all week of the mutual respect between Wales and South Africa. The South African media rather more judgmental with what they expect today. They're, I think, collectively expecting a big win for the Springboks. Who knows? May that prove to be hubris. Costello yeah. to take the host in front. <laughs> well, the young fly half has been on point so far. Six points to five. And that means 20 minutes that will have appealed rather more to Warren Gatlin and Jacques Ninaba, despite the concerns in the set piece. Will Rowlands climbing high. 25th cap, a significant landmark in Wales rugby, that. That means that uh, when Rowlands moves on, after the World Cup to play his club rugby at Rugby 2 in the same team as Sia Khaleesi, he will still be able to return to Wales to play Test Rugby. And I think you can work on the basis that that's a fact that Warren Gatlin knew all about coming into this week. There's Hendrickson on here to Malcolm Marks. Marks just powering and bumbling his way forward. Peter Steph to Toy recovering things. There goes Jasper Visa. Visa the Leicester Tiger. Hendricks are in position. On to Libok. Another powerful carry through. That time from Kitsov. Okay. Out of the sun and back into the shadow. Libok threads it through to Billy LaRue. The long pass to Moody. Moody comes inside. It's another test try for the young man. He impressed a fortnight ago against the Pumas in Buenos Aires. He's done the same here. Enterprising play by the Springboks. Again, has that confidence to take the ball wide. Ergis Neyman there. Staying up on his feet. Looking at the offload, Malcolm Marks. No one's going to stop him there. Well, I wonder if somebody might take a look at that pass. And everything appears to be cleared there, by the television match official. All good, Andy. Yes, sir. Oh, and there was a. Lovely time pass by Marnie, Mer Marnie Leboc, waiting for Vili Leroux to run onto the ball. It was a quick recycling at ruck time, getting the ball out. 
giving the backs the opportunity to run onto the ball with space. But some strong carries by the South African big men. Atlas Neyman, Malcolm Marks set up the opportunity for the Springboks. Well, it's taken three attempts, but the compass settings finally work for Manny Libok. Wonderful pass there from Billy LaRue. There are a few more intelligent rugby players than Billy LaRue, who celebrated his 34th birthday yesterday. And his 87th cap today. Two tries, that yeah. was scored by the men in green and gold. Obstruction. 14. South Africa have been a little bit careless, the haven't they? Good press. Just a little bit of ill-discipline. What you don't want to do yeah. at this level is give away easy options, especially if you scored. 14 changes line, takes that up the That next restart is so crucial. You know, five penalties conceded already. And give Sam Costello just the opportunity to keep in touch. You, know, you want, don't want that gap in Find the scoreboard here, going too wide. And the opportunity here for Sam to add another three points for Wales. It may be all part of World Cup preparation, but Wales, I'm sure, will be acutely aware of the world rankings. Last week's defeat saw them drop below Fiji in those world rugby rankings. Had Wales won, which many think they should have done with an additional three men on the pitch and a lead against England. They've gone up to seventh with England dropping to ninth, alas. Tim Costello. Successful twice. And now for a third time. And you've got Franz Malherbe wearing three. And Vincent Koch waiting Four. in the wings. I think if you're a Wales tie head, it's not it's a bad test match to miss, is it? Down by Green and broke off. Oh, there goes Khaleesi. Dyer just grabbing hold of an ankle. They're within five metres of the spring box. Hendricks uh, onto Peter Steph de Toy. Look at that body position. Almost had his nose on the floor. Oh, a wonderful chip. Oh, and Kane and Moody couldn't quite grab it. But well, that was Billy LaRue. Come off. There's nothing clear to say that it hits the, the green player's hands okay. and goes forward. OK, so it's deliberately sacked out by 11 red then, so I was kind of too far in yellow pad. Correct. Okay. No, it doesn't. It's not clear for us. 11 goes to the bin, it's a penalty try. Slap the ball out. Hendricks there. Evans straight out of the block, Back so too is Moody. Hendricks are now, look at the green and gold jerseys, they're everywhere. Dear Lindy. That's for Cheslin, Colby to chase. Colby, oh, that's fantastic work coming from Mason. Grady, but then they lose it. Persistence pays off for the men in green and gold. And Mason Grady did all the hard yards. Oh, Mason Grady, what pace to get back there. It looked like it was all done and dusted for the Springboks with Colby chasing it down. There's the regaining the kick. Had the four on one. Dallander decides to go on the boot. Mason Grady turns and burns. But because he was going over the goal line, tried to get rid of the ball. All good, Andy. And Jesse Creel right there. Just go down. Wales will perhaps rue the penalty try. And also the uh, unfortunate nature of the try, which followed just a minute or two later. But the world champions have a very handy lead after 40 minutes. They lead Wales by 24 points to nine. There's Costello. Now there's some space. And Dyer through the sunshine onto Costello. But Moody gets back to make a try-saving tackle. Danger not gone yet, though, for the 
men in green and gold, Jack Morgan, they're within six metres of Wales. There's Henry Thomas. Hardy, oh, and in pops Peter Steftertoy, and he's got Creel, and Creel, well, he's got plenty of green jerseys, but at the moment he's running away from them, but he doesn't need them. A second try for Jesse Creel. Jesse Creel, the pace and the power to keep Tom Rogers away. Getting a brace of tries for the Springboks. And it was almost a dangerous situation for the Springboks. Rio Dyer there with his second touch. Getting the ball in. Kane and Moody working so hard to get back. And then the read by Peter Steff to Tui. Vital to get that intercept. Getting it out to the pace man. Jesse Crew with the fend. Too much pace. Oh, good, Andy. Very dangerous field position here for Wales. Franco Mostert, it's Luke Brown on to Vermeulen. Vermeulen powering his way through. Hendrickson pops it up. There's a sense of inevitability. And there is the score, and it's the long reach of Peter Steph de Toy. There is a faster man in world rugby. I'd like you to show him to me. Oh, and in pops Kane and Moody. And Moody presents it with another. And you have to say, Wales have come bearing gifts at times today. And each and every one has been gratefully received. A lot of easier tries on offer here for South Africa. But it's keeping that pressure up, keep applying that pressure. That hard press, Kane and Moody pressing from the outside in. The flip side, though, is if they get that ball away, that is the edge of the line. But this is at that ruthlessness now. South Africa has to show. Keep on pressing, pressing, keep on pressurizing. South Africa just getting things right there. There's the ball for Grant Williams again. Gets it out. Libok. Oh, what a run there from Willemson. Well, they lived a little bit dangerously. How close was that to an interception? But the drift from Willemson. And the card is being shown because the referee was playing an advantage. So Wales will go down to 14. And South Africa are up to 15. It's that man, Damien Willemser. And I suspect that in hindsight, we are going to conclude that these 80 minutes as Rio Dyer goes. Oh, and he's hit uh, Damien Willemse there, and Willemse has taken that right on the yeah, chin. We, do, yeah. we need to attack. Uh, three don't go, yeah. Okay, Joy, have a decision when you're ready. Yeah, Andy. Okay, so when you're ready, come back to me. Back to you now, Andy. So 23 green, he's upright into the tackle. We do have head contact. Meets the yellow card threshold, so he goes for an off-field review. 23 green. 23 Correct. green, off-field review. Well, there is the signal. Could I have a major bearing on the World Cup future of Damien Willemse? Oh, and there goes Thomas Williams, and Williams gets the ball down. Just short of the line, though. Referee's playing an advantage here to Wales, and it is Sam Parry who scrambles over. The Ospreys hooker is delighted. Well, I guess when you lose 251 caps in the last 48 hours from the original team selection, well, they did come here a little bit undercharged. Final score in Cardiff, Wales 16, South Africa 52.